so I've made this lighter holder and it looks pretty good and I like the quality overall and I have here says max 3d design let me just show you how it works so you need a lighter and then you basically insert this lighter inside like this and it feels really good really smooth in hands and it's kind of unique so that nobody else have so today we're gonna make lighter case for big lighter hi guys welcome to the max 3d design just to get rid of all the questions I will have to say that this model had some post-processing with the filler, primer, black and silver paint. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna create a sketch on the XY plane for my imaginary lighter. So I'm gonna hit construction, then I'm gonna choose line, then I will draw 22 and a half millimeters line. Then I'm gonna choose midpoint from the menu, I'm gonna select my line and I'm gonna select center of the origin. This way I know the line is exactly in the middle. I hit escape to exit midpoint command. Then I need another line on the Z axis. This line will be 11,5 millimeters. I hit enter. Then I'm gonna hit midpoint, select my line, select the center of the origin. And this way the line will be exactly in the center. Then I'm gonna Unclick construction and from create drop down menu I will choose ellipse. So ellipse we will place in the middle, then we connect with our horizontal line, then we connect our ellipse with our vertical line. Basically our lighter is ready. I hit escape, I hit finish sketch and that's how our sketch looks like. Now we're gonna extrude our sketch 50 millimeters long because these lighters are 5 centimeters. Then I'm gonna hit enter. So basically the body for our lighter is ready. Now we will have to enter create form menu. I hit create form, I zoom out a little bit. Now we need to create box on the XY plane starting from center and I'm gonna do slightly bigger than my ellipse. Let's say 24 by 14, but then we're going to readjust it. I click once, then we need to drag all the way up, let's say 52 millimeters for now. Let's change high faces, we make it 4. Then we will have to choose symmetry mirror and we're gonna choose width symmetry and height symmetry. Operation new body and we hit OK. Now we need to form our case for the lighter. So I'm gonna click on this line once and as you see because we choose mirror it's already selecting all the lines according to this symmetry and we click this edit form. We're gonna pull it a little bit in then we're gonna click on this line we're gonna pull it a little bit out we're gonna click this line and we're gonna pull it looks better then we will click this line, we pull inside, we click on this line, we pull outside. We can select multiple lines by holding command or control on Windows. And we can basically move it any direction we like. You can keep practicing with surface modeling. If you make some mistake, then you can simply hit command Z and it will return one step back. You can select points, you can select faces. In sculpt mode, basically you are sculpting. You can make your own unique design. It just takes a little bit of practice. Then we will have to flatten our, our model. So from modify drop down menu, I will choose flatten and I will choose all the points that I want to be flattened. So I've chosen direction, select plane and then I choose our XY plane. Basically I can hit OK. I can see that my body is still coming out from my model. For that I'm gonna readjust a little bit the actual body again. Okay. 
let's hit finish form. We can change opacity by right click on our body that we've created, choose opacity control and let's make it 50%. So I see that I still need to readjust a little bit my lighter case. For that I just right click on the form and choose edit. We need to readjust slightly here also. Now when I'm happy, I right click on the body, choose my opacity to 100% to 100%. From inspect drop down menu, I will choose section analysis and I will choose XY plane. And then we can see how thick our walls are. I hit OK, right click on the form and choose edit. And then I want this part to be a little bit smaller. OK, finish form, that's better. Analysis, right click, edit. OK, looks good to me. Let's flatten it a little bit more. Right click, edit, modify, flatten. This time we're gonna just check fit. OK, that's better finish form. Now we're gonna hide our body, extend our imaginary lighter, so I'm gonna hit extrude and I'm gonna extrude it approximately 18 millimeters more, 20 millimeters more. Operation join and I hit OK. We can uncheck, we can hide our section analysis, we can show the other body. Now we combine target body will be our case, tool bodies will be our imaginary lighter, operation, cut, and we're gonna keep the tools just in case, then I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna hide our lighter, and then I'm gonna check section analysis one more time, edit, let's see, so that our walls won't be way too thin. Let's raise a little bit the bottom of our lighter case, we're gonna press extrude, and let's say one millimeter, OK. So now all what we have to do is just add some text on the side. For that we need to create offset plane from XZ axis. Let's say minus 9 millimeters. Then I hit OK. Then we're going to create sketch on our new plane. From create drop down menu I'm gonna choose text. And here I'm going to choose text, text on path. Our path will be this line. Place text below the path fit to path, let's write something, so let's say subscribe, we're gonna change our height, let's say 4 millimeters, we will have to flip horizontal, make it a little bit bold, and then we can choose the font, so let's say I like this one, we can make it a little bit more in the center by placing spacebar, by placing spaces. So when I'm happy I just hit OK. Then I press finish sketch, now we have our sketch. All what we have to do is extrude this profile in direction of our lighter. Operation cut and then I hit OK. So now we have our big letters here. And basically all what we have to do is just 3D print. Let's check how it's gonna look in render. So let's say I wanna choose aluminum gray. Let's check in canvas render. Let's change our environment. And there you go, we have our lighter case. For those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe and have a great print.